Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. We are factoring in IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Today we're concentrating on quadratics with leading coefficients other than 1. My last lesson we focused where the lead coefficient uh, was 1. In this example, it's 2. Alright, so I'm going to do this with a rectangle diagram. Um, I'm going to do it down here because I need the room for my algebra up there. Alright, so here's my rectangle diagram. I won't do them all with rectangle diagrams, but we'll start here. Um, this we know the area would be 2v squared, and this piece is 10. Uh, but these two pieces need to add up to 9v. Okay, there's lots of different ways they could add up to 9v. It could be 0v and 9v, or 1v and 8v, or 2v and 7v, and so on and so forth. Here's the key, and the key difference. Um, when the lead coefficient is 1, we just look for factors of 10 that add up to 9. But when the lead coefficient is other than 2, we actually are going to look, or other than 1, we're going to look for the lead coefficient. We're going to look for factors of 20 that add up to 9. Why 20? Uh, because of this here. Because 2 times 10 equals 20. That's why. So we're going to choose uh, 4 and 5. These are all the factors of 20, by the way. Um, so I want a set that add up to um, 9. So here we go. We got 4v here and 5v here. All right, so let's look at what's the greatest uh, common factor of 2v squared and 4v. What can I take out and make their height? That would be 2v. Okay, when we do that, 2v times v would be 2v squared. 2v times 2 would be 4v. Let's go down here. What's the greatest common factor of 5v and 10? That would be 5. And does the math check out? 5 times v is 5v. 5 times 2 is 10. So we've got our factorization here. It is um, sorry, 2v plus 5 times v plus 2. That is the factorization of that expression or of that trinomial. Algebraically, let me show you how this works. We still got to find the 4 and the 5. It would look like this though. 2v squared plus 4v plus 5v plus 10. And then we would group these expressions. This is called factoring by grouping. Then we'd take the greatest common factor out of the first group, which is 2v. Sorry. Times v plus 5, or v plus 2 rather. Uh, plus 5, taking the greatest common factor out of the second group, and that would leave us with a v plus 2 in there. So our final factorization ends up being that v plus 2 that is in both sets of parentheses and the 2v plus 5 that is outside of the parentheses. So either way, whether we use the algebra there or the rectangle diagram, we get the same thing. The key thing is getting those factors of 20 that add up to 9. Let's do this again. All right. Uh, we'll do algebra first and then rectangle diagram second this time. All right, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for factors of 24 that add up to negative 14. Why 24? Because 3 times 8 equals 24. So here's all the factors of 24, factor pairs. I'm looking for ones that add up to negative 14. So 2 and 12, I could use negative 2 and negative 12. All right, here we go. So 3f squared minus 2f, I'm going to do uh, plus negative 12f plus 8. So all I've done is broken that negative 14f into negative 2f and, and negative 12f. Then I'm going to group these first two and group the second two. 
What is the greatest common factor of 3f squared and negative 2f? It's just f. And when I factor that out, it would leave me with 3f minus 2. What's the greatest common factor of negative 12f and 8? Since the lead coefficient's negative, I've got to factor out that negative. They're both divisible by 4. And what would that leave us with inside when we take a negative 4 out? Negative 4 times um, 3f would be negative 12f, and negative 4 times negative 2 would be positive 8. So you can see there's our factorization. 3f minus 2 times f minus 4. So we'll check this math. That's our factorization of the original trinomial. We'll check this by doing a rectangle diagram this time. So we'll put 3f minus 2 up here. And we'll put f minus 4 along the side. Um, f times 3f is 3f squared. f times negative 2 is negative 2f. Negative 4 times 3f is negative 12f. And negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. So that's 3f squared minus 14f plus 8. All right, we're going to do it with just the algebra here. All right, I'm looking for factors of negative 135 that add up to 6. Actually, that don't add up to 6. So 3 times, where did I get the negative 135? That's 3 times negative 45. Okay, so when they add up to, when they multiply to a negative, um, actually one of them is going to be negative. So I'm actually looking for a difference of 6. Um, and that would be right here. These have a difference of 6. So one of them's got to be positive and one's got to be negative. Uh, the negative 9 because they have to add up to positive 6. So negative 9 plus 15 is positive 6. So here we go. Uh, with our factoring, we'll do 3u squared minus 9u plus 15u minus 45. So all we've done is rewrite, rewritten the original trinomial. We broke 6u up into negative 9u and 15u. Then we can group the first two terms and group the second two terms. What's the greatest common factor of 3u squared and 9u? That would be 3u. We'll factor that out. Be u minus 3. What's the greatest common factor of 15u and negative 45? That would be 15. Um, yeah, 15. And when we factor that out, 15 times u would be 15u. 15, 15 times negative 3 would be negative 45. So what are we left with? One of our factors is u minus 3, and the other factor is 3u plus 15. All right, so 4 times negative 9. I call this the AC method because the first thing you do is multiply the A value times the C value. 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. So we're looking for factors of negative 36 that will um, have a difference of 9. So where is there 9 between them? So that would be here, right? 3 and 12. Um, we want them to add up to negative 9, so we'll use negative 12. Same process. We'll go 4v squared plus 3v plus negative 12v minus 9. So we just broke that negative 9v up into 3v and negative 12v. We're going to group the first two terms, group the second two terms, and factor the greatest common factor out. So those only share a v, which would be 4v plus 3. These two share a negative 3 common factor, which again would be 4v plus 3 inside there. Got to be good at factoring out monomials. 
So our factorization is 4v plus 3 times v minus 3. Factoring when lead coefficient isn't 1 can be a little time-consuming process. Um, I did rectangle diagrams on the first two examples. Hopefully that lets you see where the math is coming from. Good luck.